Hello again. Today I will show you how to square the upper beam against the bench. Tools required and long engineering square, a PZ1 screwdriver, fairly large flathead screwdriver, a scraping blade and a 3 mil allen key of sorts. To start we want to remove the handle latches and remove the washer and then fit them in back for a couple of turns. Same thing on the other side. Put them on one side to make sure you don't lose them. Step number two. Place the engineering square over the upper beam. Then we grab the uh, over the lower beam and then we grab the upper beam. We drop it down. Because of the size of the mount, we can slide it um, over. Drop it fully down. Then grab the lower beam, pull it against the legs, pull it and then turn the machine on. Grab the scraping blade and we want to check our squareness. So place it on the inside of the upper beam and look at, look at the gap between the blade and your engineering square in here and there. So in my case I do need to bring this side further up. Let's check again. Yes. So to adjust, you grab your flathead screwdriver and you go between the screw and the slot in the upper beam and you just slide it, force it to one side like this. And again, our adjustment. Just touching. That looks quite the same to me. Grab the screwdriver and then we fully lock the screw which is visible under the latch. That's one. And we go around and fully lock. Now we can remove the upper beam. Be gentle when removing. And we just want to fully tighten all the screws on the skid. That's one. Another one. On this side. This side. Place your squaring block back onto the upper beam as we need to check just in case something moved. So up or lower. Let's pull it down. Grab the scraper and we just double check the work we've done. Okay. And then here, yeah, that looks to me almost exactly the same, the same gap between both sides. At this point, we can remove the square, engineering square. Power off the machine. 
install the clamp washers. position of the extraction roller so I just need to flip it back in the position drive in the top screw tighten the bottom one and at this point we are ready to use the machines so yeah install the Z head plug everything back in make sure everything's running properly the machines should be should now be square. Thank you for watching. Bye bye.